because I was shot dead on his way home from work. The 42-year-old had a job in a rubber plantation, but the Muslim insurgents who killed him accused his family, also Muslims, of having links to the Thai military. Four of Kozai's relatives have been murdered in the past year. His wife and three children were waiting for him at a coffee stall. I warned my husband not to go to work because I had a bad feeling about it. I have no idea why they did this to us. The shootings and car bombings happen almost daily. They are a popular tactic of the National Revolutionary Front Coordinate, the Biran Sea, in its fight against the Thai state, or as they call it, Siam. The BRNC has never before spoken publicly. The group's goals have remained a mystery. Al Jazeera has managed to gain access to the group and can reveal for the first time what its aims are and how it operates. In an interview held at a secret location outside Thailand, one of its most senior members agreed to speak, only if we agreed not to show his face. I am from BRN Coordinate. Our main aim is to fight for independence through an armed revolution. This way we try to dismantle the strength of Siam. Our main aim is not war, but we are forced into this because without violence, Siam will never stop discriminating the Malay people in the south. The Thai army believes the BRN coordinate has 5,000 armed fighters and bomb makers and around 50,000 supporters. Its recruits come from religious schools in southern Thailand. Thousands are said to have joined in the past five years. It's at these madrasas where the armed underground movement is recruiting its new members. For the first time, its leadership has shown their faces to the media. Al Jazeera had a secret meeting with one of the field commanders who claims he's responsible for many of the attacks over the last couple of years. We can't show his face nor broadcast his voice. The field commander revealed that the group operates in underground cells in villages across the south. Ten members in each group. But their identities are kept secret, even from each other, making it impossible for the military to defeat them. Thailand claims the group is supported by Al-Qaeda, but Al Jazeera found no evidence of that, and its members deny any link, saying that all Thai Muslims should support their violent campaign. We have three kinds of enemies, Siam and its allies. Another enemy we don't really know, but they are people who obstruct our revolutions. So we need to make them aware that as a Muslim, they should be on our side. Human Rights Watch accuses the BRNC of sometimes beheading its victims or burning them alive. 90% of those killed are civilians. The Thai state is in fact contributing to the growing popularity of BRN coordinate and their radicalized platform because Muslim in the South look at the two sides in this armed conflict, the Thai state and BRN coordinate, they still feel that BRN coordinate are someone that are closer to them, someone that more or less can help them get even with the abusive Thai state. At the mosques in southern Thailand, people will only whisper the word BRN coordinate. Very few openly support the movement's goals. These provinces are all Muslim areas, but they are under Thai rule. So what people are fighting for are their rights. Now they don't have any rights. The Thai army is fighting back, killing many BRN coordinates members. These two fighters died in a shootout in early February. Still, the BRN coordinate believes it can win this war. We believe we can win, otherwise we would not fight. Our victory will not only be independence, but our current struggle is our victory too. There's no compromise. Independence is the only goal. Some within the movement are willing to consider talks with the Thai government. But any negotiations to end the fighting are a long way off. Until then, this brutal conflict will continue. Step fast in Al Jazeera, Southern Thailand.